Now, how does Scientology attract people? Well, there are many reasons. Finding your ruin is one way they can get people in. There are people that are unhappy, they're lonely, uh, oh, maybe they think their life should be better. Scientology will offer them that. Other people want to help people. They want to help others. Scientology attracts those kind of people, too. They're fine. Um, also, these, these things like Narconon and these secular things, they can get brought in through Children, that. stuff like that. The, you know, so there are, there are many avenues that I like to say all roads lead to Ron. No matter what avenue, thank you. they all lead to <laughs> He said, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You do believe that when you're in. You do. It's true. It really is. It's amazing. But generally, the, the process is used inside Scientology. The, the control mechanisms are gradual. Some people like liken it to uh, putting a frog in a pot of cold water and gradually turning up the heat. By the time it's a lethal temperature, the frog hasn't noticed. So it starts out slow, auditing, right? Dianetics, right? right? Going for clear because your reactive mind, if you get rid of it, you go clear, you're in a better position to deal with life. Now, once you get clear, they put you on that course to ready you for OT immediately because you're in a very dangerous position. You can slip back. So you must get onto the OT levels immediately, where all of a sudden, it's not your reactive mind that's your problem. It's other things, and oh God. And they can't tell I, you, I, it's top secret. Yeah, and I can't, can't know it. I can't even mention it because they're here and it would be rude because it's their upper No, they have to levels. be, how, what level are you guys? He's all right. He's all right. Oh, got OT jacket Yeah, on, they so. gotta be okay. Are you, uh, you're all cool then. Okay. They so, wouldn't send anybody who wasn't, oh, just so you know. All right. Yeah, I didn't think we'd get some schmuck off the no. street. But, no, it isn't that. They just have to know this because they know we're going to mention it. Well, your problem is the spirits of dead space aliens that are sticking to you and they're confused. They think they're your elbow. They form ridges. And the OT levels will train you to get rid of those like ot3 gets rid of them and ot4 gets rid of the ones that were asleep when you did ot3 no knots not not the, the sleep, yeah. sleeping ones so you can see the the bait and switch here at this level it's your reactive mind once you get once you go clear you still have problems but now it's not your reactive mind positive it's the spirits of dead space trees and they stick to you and then they teach you how to get them off. So, you know, they, these levels, in, in a lot of ways, are aimed at getting the, the um, body phaetons, or BTs, off of you. Now, you can talk to them, too. I think some of the upper levels, you wind up talking to them. You have to. You have to communicate with them. Yeah. <laughs> now, you might say, how could somebody believe something like that? Right? It's kind of like, come on, you know. And honestly, for me, when I got, when I did OT3, which was where you first learn about this, it was just in a little room, and they handed you a pack. And I opened it up, and he has written out 75 million years ago, you know, there was a guy, Zenu, blah, 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 you know, the whole story of it. And I remember my first thought was, you've got to be kidding me. This is it? Because everybody's like, wait till he gets OT3. Wait till he gets OT3. Oh, you're going to be so excited. So now I read it, and my first thought is, you've got to be kidding me. But also he had put in there, you could, I nearly died. Hubbard said, I nearly died researching this. And I, having got epilepsy, right after I'd started looking for higher, you know, another way for spiritual enlightenment. And I had seizures. So I, and of course doctors don't know what causes seizures. So I thought, this must be it, right? And I think it probably happens for different people that you go, this is it for me. Do you see what I mean? Even though it's really pretty corny stuff when you read it, but anyway. It's, 
lot it, like this science fiction. It's, it's, you're there, you plug it in, they've made sure that you're in the right mindset before you're ever told about it. So they have to make sure that you're kind of in the, in the mindset, okay, where you're ready, and if not, they drop you back and you get more auditing and you pay for more auditing, or you go to ethics or you do whatever until you're ready to go, all right, she's ready for it, right? It's P.T. Barnum, you know, the circus. And the cost of each Very, very expensive. That's a good question. They, they, they exponentially go up in, in price. Like this is, you know, maybe when I started, it was like, I think, 20, 40, 100, thousands, hundreds of thousands. I gave $200,000, I think, for OT4 through 8, $200,000. And they say in writing, if you ever, if you're not happy, you can get your money back. But that's a complete flat-out lie. Yep. They won't give you your money back. Yep. No, they won't. Give it to me. Write the check, or else shut up. It's not true. I've been to them. Believe me. It's a flat-out lie. It's a flat-out lie.